Hello and uh, welcome to Reminiscences. Uh, today our guest is uh, Dr. Alhatu Sarkita Fida, who has led a very varied career uh, as chief physician to the president, uh, Sheo Shagari, in the 80s, commissioner of various ministries in his home state of Kaduna, Federal Minister of Health, Senator, rising to the position of Senate Majority Leader, and finally, the longest serving ambassador we had in the United Kingdom. He is still a very youthful 82. We normally start with asking a little bit about your early life. I know you were born in Zaria, you went to school there, and uh, also in Kefi. So can you, can you give us an insight into those early choices that you well, made? Well, area, as you know, it has a city, it has a wall. Yes. Inside the wall is the city. Yes. And I was born in the city. Right. Uh, in an area called uh, where uh, most of the, what you call, Kanuri MS mm. uh, came from. Mm. And uh, my own family has uh, a very varied uh, history. Mm. If you go back three or four uh, generations, mm. you find that we came from uh, Sokoto. Mm area and uh, one Malam Shehu came to Zaria. He was blessed by three children. One of these three children was Isa. From there Malam Isa then got my father as his eldest son and we move across the marshy area there to where our house is is part of Kaura and uh, from there life started mm. when I was about four or five mm. I was put into a secondary school started with the closest uh, elementary school not, not far from our house. From there, I went to middle school. Mm. I spent only two years. I took exam to Barewa College. Mm. And I went to Barewa College and uh, finished there in 1959. Mm. Right from then, I said I wanted to study medicine. Mm. There are very, very few Nigerian medical doctors. There. You know, mm. the first Nigerian, a northern Nigerian medical doctor is one Dr. Russell Diko mm. from the area also. Mm. <clears throat> so I want, I, I, each time I see or I saw a white, Doctor, mm. in the hospital, I, I would always look at him and be wondering how much this man knows and uh, will he ever be sick. <laughs> mm. Look, I want to be like that man. Just my joke. So, how how did you get the news that uh, you got uh, admission into the University of Lagos to study? Yeah, this? Well, I'm coming there. Mm. So, while I was teaching temporary uncertificated teacher. I realized uh, some of my mates who wanted to take administration 
as a career because I still didn't know my fate, whether I was going to do medicine or not, because mm. uh, I knew that I was going to pass mm. the exam, whether I would get... A, the first thing the government did for us, they, I was one of those who got scholarship to go to Soviet Union mm. at that time yeah. to study chemical engineer. Mm. Uh, I was all right. They just checked my subject. I said, yes, I could do that. I said, no, I'm not interested in uh, chemical engineer. No, they say it's very good. I will be a pioneer. This thing with people like Relwa Lukman mm. and so on. In mm. each. But I didn't really like it. Mm. So I rejected the scholarship. Mm. I didn't take it. I said I wanted to do medicine. Meanwhile, I left the teaching. I went to Congo, mm. a part of ABU. Right. I studied public administration mm. with some of my friends like Magaji Mohammed, mm. late. Oh, my God, you know, From Katsina. Oh, Katsina. Mm. Isa Katsina. Mm. They are all my mates. Yes. Isa was actually my mate in Barrio College. Okay. Suddenly, the idea of going for medicine came. I got a scholarship to go to a new university or University of Lagos. Mm. Were there other Northerners like you, of your generation, at that course? Well, when you say Northerners, yes, we were seven. Mm. But uh, six of us were from Kwara, then mm. from Kwara. Mm. First, I came a bit late, mm. two, three weeks late. Mm. Second, I was the only house man in the class. Mm. So it is a donor that started uh, this usual uh, <laughs> incursion of I know the another that uh, sent this one, only one man. Mm. They saw me a little bit quiet. I could play table tennis, I could swim. I was even part of the university team mm. uh, for swimming mm. against the police. Um, so, well, there, I always tell one story. Mm. How they realize my mates. Mm. And we were 28 in the class, mm. most of them from Ogun, uh, Bandel in mm. those days, mm. and so on, most of them. But we also had. Well, apart from the Kwara ones, almost everybody spoke Yoruba there. Mm. So the one teacher is a Yoruba professor, Professor Dosekum. Mm. He's from, I think, Ondo. Mm. He, he was our teacher in physiology. Mm. So he... He gave us a test. Mm. The first test I could have. We went in, he didn't tell anybody anything. He was teaching us. For the, he said, today I'm going to have, you're going to have a test. So he gave us a test, a one hour's test. Mm. We uh, sat down, we answered this thing. After a week, he came to the class again with pieces of paper. He came frown. Mm. But a nice man, he nobody is a bully. Mm. He came, he said, who is Dalhatu Tafida here? <laughs> I was there, in the, right in the middle of mm. the class. So I, I raised my hand, I said, and the answer, 
He said, ah, you surprised me. Uh, most of the answers you gave was exactly what I wanted. You look quiet, but I'm surprised how. So well, from that day, mm. everybody, you know, I, I made several friends. Okay. Even the, my, my class, my school, uh, my roommate was also a Yoruba man. Experienced pharmacist. He mm. was a pharmacy. He had diploma in pharmacy, and then he came to do medicine. Mm. Were classmate, so we became closer. Mm. So, yeah. so will you say your experience in Lagos uh, as a young man from Zaria? I mean, given what you said now, was it generally? Did you feel accepted? Did you really blend and make friends? Yeah, I, I really, there, there, there wasn't any tribalism except in terms of jokes. Mm. So, but it, between me and them, I became friends. Mm. Badly, badly with the Europeans, you know, the, even during the problem of uh, coup, counter coup, of uh, when the Donald the Bible and so on were killed. Mm. They, they came to me only because I, you know, the only house I'm in this, and so they came close to me. I became friends. There was one, uh, Doherty uh, mm. is a negotiant, mm. a Yoruba man. Uh, he took me to their house mm. because the Igbos in the school was saying there will be war. Mm. There will be war mm. in this country. So I was a bit worried that mm. in case they come and kill me <laughs> in my room, <laughs> and, you know. So what happened you when you finished training as a doctor here, yeah, you're a young doctor back to, to the north? Kaduna. Kaduna. Uh, How was no, life? Let, 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 let me even tell you once. Yes. Before we finished, mm. the very year we were in our final year, the donor sent a minister mm. to come and talk to us and even give us jobs. Mm. Uh, any time we finish, we are, they, they are prepared to take mm. us. We were given rooms, even uh, houses, houses to work. Mm. In Kaduna. So I wanted to work in Kaduna. Mm. So somebody said, I want you to go to Zaria. I said, no, Kaduna, I will mm. be in Kaduna mm. here. I, I don't know much of Kaduna, so I want to be I know Zaria. Later on, I can go to Zaria. Mm. So I stayed in Kaduna with my house, just uh, five minutes walk into the hospital. Mm. Uh, still unmarried at that point? Still unmarried. Mm. I was, I had a girl from Zaria, but somehow we went apart. Mm. So I, I told my l l late elder brother, to look for a wife for me. Mm. Uh, he said, okay, he would tell these visiting teachers who are also his classmates to choose a, a girl for me. And within weeks, I said they got a girl, but it's from the house of Wazir in Zazo. But normally they, they, they get involved in this uh, Inter family, then they, they mm. hardly give out their children, female children, in marriage mm. to for somebody foreigner. So I flew from Lagos to go to that particular mm. house. I never went there. But as soon as I went there, I saw somebody who was very close. We were close. He knew me. He, knew me. Mm. he was a uh, he was a young judge, mm. Shaw Mohammed, mm. who later became the chief judge of Kaduna four years later mm. on. So he's our brother. Mm. Uh, 
there are no contest there. I met <laughs> five other people there. Mm. One, one very striking aspect of your career after being in the uh, Ministry of Health, rising to the permanent secretary, suddenly you became the chief physician of the president, uh, I mean, how, how did that come about? Thank you very much. Uh, well, as you know, as a civil servant, when you work up to the level where you were a permanent secretary mm. in your own ministry, mm. medical doctor, it means you reach the love, the peak. Mm. I was, don't forget, I was a chief medical officer, mm. then appointed permanent secretary. Mm. And I was there for four years. Mm. And it was a change of government. Mm. Uh, the politician advised Shagari, late President Shagari, to look for a civilian doctor. It mm. was the state house then, Lord Empire were being run by a military mm. doctor. Mm. One left in Ankana hmm. from either Cross River State. So finally, he was, he, they set up a committee to look for a doctor who would be the a doctor's, the president's physician. Hmm. I didn't know. I didn't want Shagari. You never I, had any connection with Shagari after that? Not point. at all. Hmm. I saw him, uh, he came to lecture us in Barea College. Hmm when I was a minister of uh, uh, establishment or something, mm. came to talk to us. But that was the only time mm. I saw, so I could see him. Mm. So, when finally, it was decided that I should be, it must be a civilian a physician. Mm. So they started looking for their own people, you know, people. I don't know who, how they even got to know one, one tiny Lalat Tafida, although a permanent secretary in Kaduna. He said, uh, he told me on telephone, will you be able to come to Lagos soon? I said, any time you ask me to come, hmm. I would come. But I didn't know what to tell my governor. Because at that time, we didn't have even commissioners. Mm. So, I, 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 I used my money to mm. go to Lagos because I didn't want to ask government to pay me. Uh, because it was, Kaduna was PRP. Yes. Federal government was NPN. The, you know, Jari Gari was his jokes. So what is it? You come from where, Zaria? Ah, uh, I'm in trouble. Going to be in trouble. <laughs> See why, sir? See my wife, my second wife is from Zaria, and I want me to have a physician from Zaria. You mean you have absolute, absolute control <laughs> by Zaria people? No, I said no, not at all. I think that yeah, people are usually the most, uh, they, they work professionally. <laughs> he said they were right. So they wrote to the governor. Ah, one month, two months, no news, no nothing. So the, the letter I came, the secretary to government took it to the governor. And the governor had a lot of hope in me. He literally removed all the palm sacks he met there, except me. I was going to the state house in Kaduna as if I was a commissioner trying to discuss things with him. So... He didn't want you to go. 
So he, he said, ah, Doctor, I didn't know you are an NPN man. <laughs> I said, No, sir. <laughs> he said, No, I'm not an NPN man. But when also, I'm not a PRP man, you know, sir. Yeah, I'm only a civil servant. He said, Kai, I'm just joking. It's an honor for us. Hmm. We put for one man to be selected among us hmm. in a position of trust. Hmm. Well, yes, you, you go. Then they gave me a set of parties here and there, and I went to So how was it to be the physician, the chief physician to the president? Is it a difficult job? It is not a, nice, a difficult um, job, but um, but it's uh, a demanding job because you you know you just begin to think and pray that nothing catastrophic will happen in your head. You are with him all the time. You have to move around. You know, if I was with the president. I was the I would be the first to see the president in the morning. Up to his bedroom sometimes. I will be the first. I will come to the office, make sure everything is all right in the office mm. with the ADC. And um, any day I felt that the president should not come out, he would stay at home, he would not come out. Mm. Any appointment would be canceled. There will be days like that when, by your professional yeah, opinion... Yeah, yeah, maybe once or twice mm. it happened. But on the day Agari was sick was in Saudi Arabia. Mm. We went there for Hajj. He was sick. Mm. Tell us a little bit about your, your home person. Uh, I'm talking of al Haji Umar Diko. He was very... Uh, central to that government, and he became very much uh, unpopular in, in this country. Do, do you think he deserved all the bad press and even the subsequent... No, you see the problem. You know, Nigerians, the Nigerians, they like somebody to be in power to help them. Mm. Those who are helped, they, they like it. Mm. But once you are in trouble also, the same man in trouble, many will dislike you. Mm. Unfortunately, but Umar Duko is somebody who can go to any length mm. to get a position of power. Mm. Power, mm. not money. Mm. You know, Umar Duko don't associate him with money. Mm. If he could get money today, it would be spent on friends and people, mm. other people. So. It was wrong for people to believe that Umar Duko stole money. Mm. Umar Duko would never steal it. Money was not his priority, mm. as you know. Mm. Umar Duko was very close to Shagari. I met him there. We knew each other right from Barewa College. Mm. He was uh, my senior, but a lot of respect in, uh, between us. Mm. And so he, I didn't interfere in his work. Mm. I remember one thing that happened. Mm. After the first time, Umar Duko wanted to be succeeded to government. Mm. Uh -uh. But Because of his nature, nature, he wants a position of authority and power. Mm. So that he will be misunderstood mm. and so on. Mm. He told me uh, that he would not give Omar Duko that position. Mm. He, he would go with, the, some, with somebody he knows, mm. uh, Sheo Musa, mm. go on to repeat Sheo Musa. Mm. And, uh, is, is of non controversial mm. somebody hard working. Civil mm. servant, mm. Umar Duko was never a civil servant. Mm. He was a public officer, mm. commissioner, so, 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 mm. quite all right. So he didn't know the intrigue of civil service mm. and the rules and so on. Mm. So he opted for Sheikh Musa mm. again. 
Uh, Omari Duko didn't like it. He nearly didn't, he wasn't even going to office. Mm. But I went to a conference and I said, you remember, when I lied, mm. you may want something mm. desperately. Mm. Instead of that thing, God will give you another thing. It, may, it will turn out to be better for you. Mm. So you yourself, after a uh, uh, course career in civil service, after being commissioner, <coughs> uh, commissioner for health, yes, uh, agriculture, agriculture and uh, education, right, mm. and the minister of uh, minister of health also, and I was also a minister of health. Then you became a politician. Uh, so I, 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 I like to know more about the reason for that transition. I used to say, uh, talk about two things. I would never become a farmer. Hmm. Because it's a waste of money, your own money and time. And I said I would never become something. Not politics. I'm politics. Hmm. And everything, you know, it somehow happened. Mm. So he became a farmer and also a politician. Uh, you know, let me take it one by one. Right. The idea of even to be a politician came through Babangida's uh, maradonic uh, 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 tendencies mm. throughout his period. Mm. You know, Babangida was a very intelligent man. Mm. He wanted to discourage all those who took part in politics mm. during Shagari's time as before. He wanted brand new ones. Mm. So that those brand new ones can, can be with him so that they cannot outsmart him. Mm. That was, you know, people say, ah, doctor, can you come in, you so know. that's option A4. Uh, so I went into option A4, mm. you know, I was a reluctant politician. Mm. Uh, through the option A4, the whole idea of becoming a president came in. Mm. Oh, I said, well, if you want, I will do so, but I have no money. Mm. I don't have money. Said, ah, no, it's not money. Just get the preliminary right. You see people giving you money. So, but suddenly they said, ah, they were talking of Gawang, mm. General Gawang, mm. who was going to contest through Kaduna State. Mm. He comes from the area. I said, no, I don't think so. They said, yeah, it's true. It was a rumor throughout, mm. because I didn't see Yakova Gawa in Zaria. Mm. I didn't see him anywhere in, in that constituency. But meanwhile, I was going around talking to people and so on. But I was surprised why should somebody, he was in power, during the military, when things were easier, mm. money was easy to come by for by the state and so on. He was there for a good nine years. Mm. Why should he come and put himself? Of course, they say it's the IBB who convinced him as his uh, boss. So were you embarrassed that you contested I was embarrassed, and then you, you defeated but I, him? Right from the word go, mm. if I knew Gawang was going to go for an election, mm. the usual regular option A4, mm. I wouldn't have because I respect Gawang. Mm. He was a Baliwa man now, mm. as you know. Mm. Though I didn't meet, but I met him there indirectly. Mm. I met him in the same house where I was also mm. a house. Mm. But he was studying for his exam to go into the army. Mm. So we, met, we knew each other. Mm. I know Gawan, not only he himself, his brothers, mm. and so on, all. Mm. I wouldn't have contested against him, mm. actually. Yeah. 
But they came so late, you know, in politics, if mm. you say you are going to contest for an office, mm. and your people start going up and down suddenly, mm. quiet again, nobody will ever trust you again. Mm. So I, I weigh these those uh, possibilities, I say, I'd rather lose the election mm. than to, to be, not to be trusted. Mm. So I, I didn't, I, did, I decided not to withdraw. Yeah. The late Emir others tried to convince me to withdraw. Mm. I said, no, I'm, I have to also think of my, myself, mm. not any other person, mm. about the action I, mm. you want me to take. So you didn't even, well, the whole process that uh, created the option A4 didn't go anywhere. Uh, nobody really, the, the transition was truncated. You, know, you see, you were by the story, you know, mm. my own story and so on. You know. <laughs> of course, I, I, I won the election in my uh, ward constituency. Mm. I won it in my local government constituency with Gawan, of mm. course. I won it in my state constituency, so mm. I was the only mm. candidate representing Kaduna State. Mm. Mm. So, uh, when I went, they said there would be convention to mm. select only one person for the president. Mm. And this is Port Harcourt for NRC. I went to Port Harcourt we met uh, why so Tof you represented Kaduna. You I represented Kaduna. Kaduna. Uh, Tofa represented Kano. Kano. Mm. And so on. You see, when uh, Yoda, mm. Ahmed Yoda represented oh. Adamawa mm. in those days. Mm. So many other, you know, who are seeing people coming from every state, mm. one, one person. Brand new politicians. Brand new politicians. Mm. I, 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 it was interesting. Uh, it looked like I was, I was popular mm. because you know the, the sweet I was given was so central. People, you know, were coming there, you know, dramas, so on, day, day and night. Mm. Somehow. But, you know, from there, I even made it, let me give, I went to Imo. Somebody again gave me a plane mm. to be going around mm. uh, the south. Mm. The plane will come and pick me with my people who go around. So when I went to Imo, the, uh, Mm. Uh, in a hotel. Somebody called me, I didn't know him. He said, are you Dr. Tapida? I said, yes. You are coming to see us tomorrow. I was coming to see mm. the politicians mm. in, in Imo. Mm. I said, yes. Well, how much are you giving us? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't need, I, normally, I don't have much money. I was given every state 50,000 naira at that time. That's what you are dropping. Uh, <laughs> but it was a big money. Oh. Yes. He said, no, we will not accept 50,000. I said, well, that's what I have. If I give you, you can give it to some of your boys there. He said, no, I want you to give us 100,000. I said, but I don't have it. Mm. Is this thing I budgeted? Mm. He said, I will give you the 100,000 myself. I don't know the man. Wow. Mm. I said, how do I get the money then? He said, I will bring it to your room and drop it. Keep your money. The one you are going to use to give us, keep your money. Ah, 
I was surprised. In the night, they knocked in my room, and uh, when I opened the, the thing, they say, of course, there were some others sleeping. Mm -hmm. I was right deep inside. Mm -hmm. They say somebody came here. Yeah. They said they want to see you. Got a small box. At that time, uh, it was 2020 in Naira. That mm -hmm. was the largest denomination. Mudala. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave me a hundred thousand to give to. I said, but what is your name? Mm -hmm. He said, uh, if, I, if I tell you my name, I want, yeah, I know your name. Mm. You don't have to know my name. Let's say, no, I want to know your name. So he said his name is, uh, he's an Igbo, he's an Igbo man. Mm. But I, I got to know him. We became very close after. But why, why did he do it? I don't know. He, he wanted me to win. To win. Mm. He wanted me to win so that I can, I can, uh, he can use me ob obviously mm. because and he, it happened. Mm. He gave me a hundred thousand. I went and dropped it for them mm. after talking to them. Uh, then, of course, I lost the election, so. One day, soon after that, Abacha, you know, it was IBB's time, mm. all this thing was happening. Yes. Abacha uh, appointed me as minister. Mm. I was minister of health. Mm. Oh, I too, there is also a minister, mm. minister of state from Enugu. So, uh, I was sitting as a minister in my office in Lagos. Mm. They said, there are two people coming to see you. Mm. From the name they are Ibos. I said, oh. no, them now. don't bring, come and say somebody wants to see me. You don't know his name or her name. They brought the name, but I couldn't click. It didn't mm. click, and it was the name Ararumi, mm. the man who gave me a uh, hundred thousand. He entered, he said, ah, you remember? I looked at them, I said, the name sounds familiar, sorry. He explained to me, he was the one who called me. I said, yeah. So I hugged him and <laughs> became friends. Mm. And he wanted something from the minister, which I gave him. Mm. And he's still around. He's still, he's still, still an around. active politician. We, we went to the <laughs> Senate. Yes. That was Senate 1999 together. Mm. Uh, but we parted. Mm. He wanted, he was following Chuba. Mm. Because I know Chuba so well. Mm. He was with Shagari as mm. his advisor. Mm. And I was with Shagari as his physician. Mm. So I know Chuba would not make a good Senate president. Mm. He was very intelligent. Mm. So I said, I'm not going to support mm. him. Ah, they tried what they came. Mm. They all came, all the people uh, surrounding Chuba. Mm. I said, no, I have the right now. Yeah, I will not support him. So he, mm. they went there. Chuba didn't win. Mm. Of our own group. Uh, Awaram won. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, later Chuba won after nine, ten months. Mm -hmm. uh, Awaram was ousted yes. and Chuba came in. Chuba didn't even stay for the nine months. Mm -hmm. He was ousted in the Senate. Mm -hmm. yeah. So your, I. Your career in the Senate uh, uh, also became controversial about the third term. I think this is an opportunity that, for... That's the second... Yes, there was the this... First, the that you and Mont, uh, Senator Montu seem to have preferred that Obasanjo continued after his uh, tenure was over. I read that portion, but it wasn't like that in the sense that 
I, I, what I know of Basanji, obviously, is our president. Hmm. But at that time, I, he was not even visiting the villa, let alone be acquainted or so close to Obasanjo. Mm. He's the man to Elijah Kanshire, mm. who was known to be very close to Obasanjo, mm. who was uh, helped by Obasanjo. Mm. I was not part of... But you are a majority leader. I was so a majority leader. The assumption was that you, you carried uh, the... The, the mm. chairman of the party, Ahmad Ali, came to my office, mm. came to the Senate several times to talk to me. I said I would do my best. Mm. But really, I wasn't doing my best mm. because I know the thing would not fly. The whole idea, mm. it crashed. we crashed it in the Senate. Mm. You know, the process is a bill has to go through. Mm. Either to be read the second time or to... So, Obasanjo well, really wa wanted a starter. There is no question about the mm. knee I can... Obasanjo called us. We plan how to go about it later. Mm. But we told him that that idea would not fly. Mm. All those governors who are promising you this, who are not seeing eye to eye, with their senators, so mm. they, can't, they can't control their senators. Mm. There was a night, Obasanjo called us mm. about this third term. The, the Senate President, myself, a month, and the Speaker, Deputy Speaker, and the House Leader. Mm. And he started talking, he said he was traveling out and so he would be back in three days. I said, but you are leaving, you know, all those governors who told you they are with you and they are not. Ah, he tried to know what is actually happening. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you should, you should uh, really try to find out. These governors are doing nothing, they are only deceiving you. I know we are all equal in that chamber. Mm. Once we get in there, we are equal. Mm. Anybody can tell anybody anything. Mm. How the, he couldn't, uh, that night he couldn't travel. He wanted early in the morning to make arrangement to invite the governor to be seen by the chief, chief of staff, mm. Ali Owai Mohammed. Mm. Uh, let me go to your uh, last portion of your public career as ambassador in the UK. H how did that appointment come about? And, uh, and again, again, that's, I had already moved into this house. Mm. After the Senate, you are, you are done with the Senate. Yeah. You couldn't go for an, you couldn't go for I your own third go, term uh, also uh, the Senate. Uh, my governor wanted my office for greediness. He wanted the, the senator. He wanted to be in the Senate, mm. but he proposed to be given an appointment as a minister, possibly as a minister of finance, mm. or as governor of central bank, mm. or something. So he wanted to hold to the Senate mm. as a bargaining chip. Mm. If you are a senator, you are going to be given an appointment must be a weighty appointment. Mm. But if you are just hanging and nothing, you won't get anything. Mm. So that disagreement took us to the president. The president called me early in the morning here, Obasanjo. Yes, uh, Obasanjo. Uh, he mm. said he wanted to see me. When I went there, was Obasanjo, Chief of Staff, uh, Chairman of the Party, Mark Adfi, the Governor, and the Governor, mm. myself. The topic is Tafida's territorial ticket. Mm. I said, but yeah, I have, I have already won my, my ticket for my third term. Is it not so? Or if you can ask the party, 
it's it's ah, but Ahmad Ali, you know, one one he want he want to do something for the big man. He knows that he said, ah, but that is changeable. <laughs> Even I though you are nominated, or, but you are nominated. I said, I told uh, the gathering, I said, I'm really disappointed. I look at the, I said, I'm really uh, disappointed with the president. Now, all the big things he wanted to do for months, he couldn't do. When I became the majority leader, he gave them to me, and I did them all. Mm. Why it, uh, it it involved gathering people from the, the the house of rep to to get things right to all this power power this electricity bill mm -hmm. uh, all these uh, what is it so many of these bills mm -hmm. I broke at them. Mm -hmm. And now you, you want somebody to come because he was a governor? I'm disappointed. I just left them. They said, they, well, technically, they said they should allow me to go and think mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. OK, you will never see me again. <laughs> I left, and they never saw me. So how to? The time when when Eradua was our candidate, we knew each other. Uh, you know, Katsina was more or less my mm. second home. Mm. So as soon as he came to office, he sent. Uh, we didn't have ministers before we had ministers. He sent a uh, palm check from Foreign Affairs. He wants to give me something, but he doesn't know whether I will accept it mm. or not. I said, if it is from him, I will accept it. But I know he will not give me anything just because he, mm. he wants to shut my mouth up. Mm. Anything. Provided that there is respect attached to it. That's all. So that's how you were made ambassador. Uh, that's how he came. Uh, Baba Ahmed came in here, told him this, and he left. He wanted to tell him. Hmm. So how was it? How was it being ambassador in the UK? Was it? Was it? Uh, it can be yeah. very hectic. You must have a way to work. You must design your program in such a way that it will allow you to do hmm. the work that took you there. Otherwise, you would spend almost. All your time uh, talking to the big men from Nigeria. Because they're always visiting. Or going to the uh, airport <laughs> to bring some people. By the way, I say, apart from the president and the vice president, I will not go to the airport to meet anybody. Mm -hmm. So that was certain. Mm -hmm. Even with foreign affairs minister. Mm -hmm. He would come and meet me in my office. But, that, but he, he, was, he would be your boss? Uh, on paper, theoretically. Mm. But in reality, I was <laughs> supported by the president. Yes. He, was, he could be my boss. But I, with my experience, I did all that I wanted to do. Mm. How, do you, how do you keep well for, for an 82-year-old? You look, is it, is it the, the, the doctor in you that you know how to? No, nothing. I know. I try to keep well. You eat anything you you eat specially? No, exercise no. no. Stuff? Uh, eating, I wouldn't. I don't discriminate much. <laughs> there are things I don't eat. I don't take ever. Ever. Uh, for my health, <laughs> uh, I tend to uh, somehow bring about an attack. Mm. Of my, I'm asthmatic. Okay. Uh, one or two other things. Otherwise, you are keeping very well. I think I'm fine. Hmm. I think I'm fine. My blood pressure is all right. Hmm. I'm not diabetic. Hmm. I sleep reasonably well. Hmm. 
Uh, Finally, I want to ask you, as a veteran of several governments, you have seen governments from Shagari. Ah, before Shagari, you didn't want to. Before Shagari, exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm saying oh, even, the ones federal. you participated, yes, uh, at the federal. What do you think of this government, which, which uh, under we, where, where we are? Well, I'm not in any way attached to the government now, mm. so I wouldn't know what they are doing. Mm. Are you are you happy or disappointed? What is going the, on? You know, Buhari used to be one person that I like. Mm. Up till tomorrow, I like him mm. as a person. Mm. But the truth is that uh, I was disappointed. But well, I know Bahari can do much better mm. the Bahari I used to know. Who well, I mean, almost, I'm just older by maybe two years mm. or so. Mm. Uh, the Bahari I know can do much better. Mm. He must have some people who don't want him to do well. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Well, but somehow he doesn't know. Mm. But he is with them there. Mm. He talks of corruption. Mm. I know Bahari is not a corrupt man. Mm. And he has made a name for himself mm. for that. But people around him, small, young, young people, mm. they make money. And he seems to be, he knows about it and seems to be encouraging them. If I don't like corruption, I'll never be happy with somebody with me being put in an office and being rich overnight. Mm. I would not. I show him I'm not happy. Um, I, and what I do normally is to remove him. Mm. But somehow, uh, he's just looking uh, as if he doesn't know what's happening. But I know Bahari is too intelligent not to know. He knows everything. But unfortunately, for Nigerians, Bahari looked for this office for long. Mm -hmm. he, did, he believed that not everybody is his friend. Many people who are politicians, who can talk, are not his friends. Mm -hmm which is wrong. The problem people had during Jonathan, uh, many people to believe that Buhari must be better than Jonathan. Mm. That's but, why. But you are saying this is uh, actually the DJ of the Jonathan campaign. Uh, when people my, find uh, it strange. Yeah, then, then I became DG of Jonathan's campaign for one or two good reasons. Mm. We, I'm a northerner, full-blooded northerner, mm. for that matter. I also believe in the north having power for as long as is possible for a, provided we can get the right person. Mm. I am now the saddest person in Nigeria today because I'm not happy mm. that uh, people think Bahari is not doing well. Mm. And everybody, if I lay this issue of insecurity, mm. I remember I read something about uh, about uh, my former boss, the military man, uh, Abacha. Mm. You know, Abacha is one soldier and I negotiate feared mm. most. He said, if problem starts in one place, mm. it is not solved. It means government has a hand in it. Mm. No, that is almost true. Mm -hmm. let, 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 let's conclude by what you said about your reason for the general for your. Yeah, well, don't let me hear. Yeah. Mm. You know, 
like I would not say, I am not a very young man, mm. but uh, I think I know the tactics our leaders in the north then. Sadawna, Abaka Taba, and many others mm. use. Apart from getting votes here in the north, they were also, the, the Yoruba kingdom is no, no go area. Mm. The Igbo area, no go area, so they used to go to the south, south. Mm. And that's why they made friendship. Mm. And we used to get people that would be in parliament, mm. that would have an ally, it will ally with us, mm. and the north with its own board mm. will, will, help, will control wherever mm. they find themselves. One man found himself pass as a vice president mm. and then as a president. Mm. He says he wants to complete what his boss started mm. here at war. Mm. Yes, why not? Uh, I, I believe in that too. Mm. Let, let's allow him, mm. at least so that these minute minority, as you call them, mm. will have a sense of belonging. Mm. They helped us, we, the, mm. we call ourselves mm. Northerners. They helped us when we needed them. Mm. Why can't we help? So I came out, I said, yes, I will be. They sent people to me in London. Mm. Whether well, Jonathan said I should ask me whether I want to, I can lead the campaign. Mm. I said, why not? Mm. I'm already in government, so I, it's just an extension of my I work here. Yeah. Mm. I came. Uh, I never believed that well, the North wouldn't be, at, no. We, when we talk of being the North, we should exercise that with some degree of sensibility. Mm -hmm. If we don't do that, we will fail one day. That was why I was there. Thank you, sir. Thank I, you. I, think, I think on that note, uh, I'd like to thank you for your very uh, frank uh, response to the issues and I'd like to thank you viewers for joining us in this edition of Reminiscences and I hope we'll see you another time.